The Prince has arrived. A man who has passed judgment on all of WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Damian Priest, representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor. Finn has an impressive resume, plenty of championship reigns. Yet Finn Balor continues to evolve. Pay attention to his newfound cunning and ruthlessness. Yeah, this is not the Finn Balor we once knew. Well, sometimes change is a good thing. Look at the focus in Balor's eyes. Yeah, Balor looks ready to clear the obstacle that awaits him. Well, Byron, I think Finn wants to do more than clear the obstacle. Finn looks ready to obliterate the obstacle. The two-time Royal Rumble winner. The personification of grit. A superstar looking to reach the pinnacle of his second mountain. And his opponent, accompanied by Beth Phoenix from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds, Edge! You know, Edge has won and cast in the very first Money in the Bank contract, and he's found so many unique ways to win. He is truly the ultimate opportunist. No, guys, Finn Balor has always walked the line, but recently he's repeatedly stepped over that line. Oh, come on, Cole. Finn gave everything he had to appease the WWE Universe, and what did they give him? Nothing. Balor is simply balancing the scales and taking what he's owed. But there are plenty of ways to do that, Corey. I'm just not sure why Finn Balor chose this path. But across the way is one hard-headed opponent, the one and only Edge. He's as tough and grizzled as they come. Even a career altering injury could not keep Edge out of the ring. You know, I don't think Edge has ever met an obstacle he didn't think he could overcome. He's bold, he's confident, and he's ready to demolish his next big challenge. Joy stop! He must have seen that coming. Oh, brutal four. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. And he wants nothing to do with any of that. Back in the ring now. Makes him pay with a counter. Caught him right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Sometimes Edge can get a bit reckless in the ring, Corey, and we've seen that zealous nature backfire on him before. Is that going to be an issue here? While Edge's tactics seem impulsive, Cole, I can assure you they are very well calculated. Errors can happen, but that's part of the Edge is not reckless without reason or thought. 
Momentum really on Edge's side now. That very well calculated offensive edge paid off for him in spades there. Shoots a half. Hold on. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. And he kicks out of the pin in one. Somehow still has the energy for a quick kick out. Rescinded back to Edge. Drop kick to the knee. And Edge is in the cover for the win. This is it. Shoulder shoots up before two. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. Brought down with a DDT. Countered it just in time. Momentum completely on the side of Edge. Ooh. What a counter by Edge. Here's Edge's big chance. That's gotta be it. There's two. Bell's a man of conviction. He will not stay down in the face of defeat. Edge stopped just short of that mountaintop he talks about. Gonna have to make a harder push to finish things off. Into the corner now. Gets him in position. This is not precarious position for both of these athletes. What more these two can do to each other? I have no clue. Swinging neck breaker. Cover. Two count kicks out. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? And his eyes are piercing through the opposition now. He's reeling, slowly getting up. Here he goes for the win. Cover. Two. Power. Just barely able to kick out. Any closer in the bell would ring. The WWE Universe matching Balor's energy here as this match continues. It up and oh, ribbon down. That was an incredible display of offense from Finn Balor. You can feel the drama in the air right now. Finn and Edge have everyone holding their breath. Matches like this are what it's all about. His eyes are fixated. He's looking at Somersault punch up. Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke and it pays off. Target in the arm now. And Balor's looking determined. A series of disabling maneuvers from Finn. How's that for a counter? Oh, and a knee to the face. He's going back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. No. Oh, no! Wildly throwing your body out of the ring like that is more often than not going to provide such a...
match a result. That was an example of boldness backfiring. Oh, God, that hurt. Kick gets caught. of the year. Let's take another look at some of the action. Here is your winner. Edge! A moment of sweet vindication for Edge. Putting Finn Balor in his place and proving that he is not someone you want to go making enemies with. Yeah, Balor may regret ever betraying Edge in the first place after suffering a loss like this at the hands of the rated R superstar. I wouldn't be so sure. I bet from Balor's perspective, this beef's far from over. So much bad blood here. Wasted little time to get this thing started. Here we go. These two are at it. The bell hasn't even rung yet. The official needs to get control. The official doing their best. And maybe we will get some semblance of control and a bell. Here we go. Tried to catch the superstar off guard, but they were prepared. Now these two did not want to wait for the bell, but the referee finally able to get things under control. After a shotgun attack during the entrances, this match has found its way inside the ring at last. Now we can really get things started. There is no reason to go through with this match after that brawl before the bell. Well, I can think of one very good reason. It's called pride. If you had any yourself, you might understand. So much damage inflicted. Wicked roundhouse kick. Great display of power in the tent lift German suplex. That move had the amount of force akin to a natural disaster. Face first, here it comes. Bulldog. Slap. Oh, no, you did. Yes, she did. Suplexes, slams, and bombs are all painful, but being slapped like that is humiliating. You would know, Saxton. It seems obvious, but here's the best piece of advice I can give for taking on Io Sky. Don't allow her to climb the ropes and take off. You have to keep her out of the air at all costs. Anything you can do to slow Io down and keep her off the ropes is worth it. Good advice, Corey. Many of Io's biggest wins came just moments after she took flight. Three. Off 
the barricade. Oh, right to the back. Got flipped upside down there. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Play there. Expected that one. Placing them into the corner. Uh oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. Nice chop. She's starting to drag a little bit. How about the sharpness of Eo's in ring maneuvers? Almost flawless. Eo. Uh oh. Back. Guys, we could be looking at the start of one of the all-time cover, cover. Three. I thought that was it. Just the slightest bit of hesitation in the cover could have been all the difference there. A uh, shot being stopped in the gut. EO able to fend her off. So hopefully, this will be a short trip outside. Roundhouse kick. Scorpion kick. Ooh, leg snap. And again. All measured up. Oh, from behind. That'll give you some whiplash. Relentless attack from Dakota here. I love what we're seeing here. She's trying to slow EO down and keep her from taking flight. Slap. Disrespectful. Boom. Oh, drop kick. On the mark. Charming <laughs> European uppercut. Vicious arm stop. She wants it. Oh, and she got out of there. Dakota Kai setting up her opponent. Detonation kick. Has Dakota settled this? Cover. It wasn't enough. She kicked out. Io is dead set on not being overtaken in this matchup. Dead set on avoiding a pinfall. And that could have been Dakota's best shot at putting this one away. And that was an effective attack, guys. How much longer can these superstars continue? Watch out. Diving foot stop. Brutal. She covers for the pin. And a strong kick out in one. Giving a massive effort to overcome the pin attempt. She's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. Things went from bad to worse. Uh-oh, this isn't going to end well for someone. Going up top. Looking to take flight here. Taking flight. Big miss right there. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Just disrespectful. A uh, jumping stop to the gut. Oh, man! Intercepted the attack with a kick to the face. The O Sky double underhook into the face buster. 
And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. She certainly took a chance there. High risk with no reward. And set right into the corner. Nice monkey flip. The WWE Universe is on its feet. And deservedly so. These superstars are holding nothing back. Lift off. Oh, God. An absolutely terrible landing ringside. Face first, here it comes. Hold on. I oh, had that well scouted. Delivered into the barricade. Look at this, going counter for counter. Oh man, meeting the barricade. Oh, right to the back. That takes him down. Striking down with the axe handle. She throws her back in. Action needs to return to the ring and fast. She's going to try it again. Oh, connects. Dakota can't come back from that. EO bursts to the top rope. Sky is feeling it. Channeling that energy. Trying to go for it again. Oh, just completely. What happens when you throw your body around? You eventually meet the pavement. Did you see that? Propelled through the air. I am feeling a titanic shift roaring through this crowd right now. Well, you're not the only one, Saxon. It's all coming to a head now. She's got to be careful here. The referee will count her out. Next. Whatever it is, it's not going to be good. Oh, run through the opponent, through the announce table. Thrown back in under the ropes. We're going to be hard pressed to see a better match than that. Here's another look. Here is your winner, EO Sky. Facing some serious adversity and still coming out on top. This is a well-earned win, no question there. Toughness was on display in this one. It took real courage to make it out the other side of that onslaught. I'll say, I almost thought all hope was lost at one point. Well, that's why you never back down. You never know when things might turn around. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 501 pounds, Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso, the Bloodline. A duo that has showcased the very best in tag team wrestling tonight. Looking to be another one for the highlight reel.
It's party time! Ah, ha, ha. Here we go. <laughs> These two dudes genuinely entertain me more than just about anybody. And their opponents at a combined weight of 492 pounds. The Raw Tag Team Champions, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits! Oh, Triple Crown up. Tag yeah. Team Champions, NXT Raw and SmackDown! You know what that means, Michael. It doesn't matter what the brand is, the Street Profits always bring the smoke. We say it time and time again, but the Street Profits really are a team that love to have fun. They love to get the party going, have a good time. True, true, but don't get it twisted, Cole. Ford and Dawkins' high energy can translate into some absolute intensity when they really get going. And boy, we should expect them to get going in this one, guys. Each team looking to make an impact, looking to shake up the landscape of the tag team division. Well, I'll take it one step further. And what he's looking for here looks like a potential submission maneuver coming. The official act. How do you escape the abdominal stretch like that? So on top of reversal. Series of reversals. And responds with a counter of their own. And a tag there. And just like that, he said crashing to the floor. Absorbed some damage already. Toss back into the ring. Four. He knows how to avoid contact. Big punch finds its mark. Cross the top rope all the way to the floor. A oh, wicked kick to the lower back. There he goes, right into the corner. Just trying to humiliate his opponent now. Elbow drop. Jimmy Uso commanding respect from all of the WWE Universe. Nasty right hand. It's a carry to the floor. Do him all you want. He's just feeding off it more. Quite a show. Here's another look. Here are your winners Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso. The Bloodline. 
And it's Jimmy Uso leading the team to victory here tonight. Two men with one common goal can be a dangerous thing. They're putting the entire locker room on notice. Now pacing in the ring, ready to go. And their opponent making their entrance inside the ring. Oh, oh, oh. The superstar could not wait for the bell to get their hands on their opponent. This thing is personal. So much bad blood between these two. A uh, superstar who was attacked is a, starting with a big disadvantage here. Obviously, that competitor could not hold back their emotions any longer. The tensions between these competitors almost completely disrupted this match. But now these superstars look ready for even more action. And you know what? I respect the decision to still go through with this match after an attack like that. I'm not sure whether I think they're brave or foolish, but it does take guts. Oh, nice deep arm drag. Submission move being applied. An uncanny showing of power. She won't fade. She just won't fade. She keeps fighting. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal form. Are back. <laughs> Becky Lynch tends to put it on the line when facing an opponent. That has to be an uphill battle for her opponent here, Corey. Well, it's not going to be easy to overcome that fighting spirit of Becky's, but at times Becky can overestimate herself and push her body too far in the ring. I'm not saying that's going to happen tonight, but it's something her opponent needs to be aware of. Becky Lynch may be slowing some here. Things to ringside. Whoa. Oh, great. Rearranging our ringside furniture here. Here in the next desk. What a mess. Gentlemen, in the interest of self preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. Oh, 
she responds with a... Now look at Becky. Slam. And Ripley felt every bit of that. Two. What a kick out. She's not done yet. How on earth was Rhea Ripley able to kick out of that one? Just barely is apparently the answer, but sometimes that's all it takes. And with that kick out, Becky has to keep the aggression. Becky in full control here. Handle slam. Is it the finishing touch Lynch needs? Two counts. She is showing us something special here tonight. You know, Becky is feeling a dissatisfaction with the outcome of that pin count. She thought she had it. Ripley has things right where she wants them. Here we go. Will that overtake Becky? She begins to stir back up, but does it look good? Just look at the power of Rhea Ripley. Oh, an electric chair face buster. You can begin to see it in these superstars' faces. Exhaustion is beginning to set in. They're starting to breathe heavier. This is the time where matches are won and lost. <laughs> Fought off with an elbow. to grab our stuff and go. Keep it in the ring, please. Saxton's a very fragile boy. Whip back into the ring. Three. <laughs> Becky Lynch with a great shot. <laughs> drop from the ropes. Looking to end it here. This could be it. <laughs> and she thwarts the pin attempt in one. This match continues on. Just the kick. Oh, oh, oh. And no more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. <laughs> Something's about to go either very wrong or very right. Oh boy, that's a determined stare that's come across her face. From the top. Oh, got caught. Fortitude has been tested, and these fans are showing their approval of these superstars' performances. Oh! Devastating face buster. Let's take another look at these women in action.
Here is your winner, Rhea Ripley. What a victory. That's how you take down an opponent. That's certainly one way of looking at it. It is true they did whatever they had to do to get the win. And I'm wondering if that attack earlier is going to have a lingering effect beyond just this match. That's entirely possible. Lasting damage might have been incurred there. Austin marching to the ring, the trademark scowl on his face, ready for business. A man who just oozes attitude and does whatever he wants. The following is a six-man tag team match. Introducing first, from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve. Amazing return to the ring at WrestleMania against Kevin Owens. Cole, how can we forget about multiple occasions where Byron Saxton received a stunner? Oh, gosh, do you have to remind me of that again? That stunner hurt. It was the greatest moment of my professional career. I agree. WrestleMania's a double-digit world champion and perhaps the greatest name in all of not only sports entertainment, but entertainment. Listen to these people. A third-generation superstar who honors his family starting all the way at the top with the high chief, Peter Maivia. Without a doubt, furthering his family's legacy in sports entertainment and cementing his own spot on the WWE Mount Rushmore. His greatness transcends eras in WWE history. Powered up in the iron paradise, Team Bring It is a lifestyle. Simply the greatest of all time, John Cena. And from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! Let's do it! No doubt about it, the absolute greatest of all time. Yeah, nobody has been on top longer, and nobody has changed the game more. You can't debate Cena's achievements, but you have to wonder, has Hollywood softened Big Match John?
A young star with plenty of accolades. The youngest United States champion and the youngest Money in the Bank winner in WWE history. And from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. All the potential in the world, but unfortunately, a bad attitude too. The youngest Money in the Bank winner and also the youngest superstar to fail cashing in his Money in the Bank contract. Ah, oh, shut up, Saxton. Money in the Bank was an anchor, an albatross, and Austin Theory is better having gotten rid of it. Time will tell, but you may be right, Corey. I figured you'd like this goof. You probably laugh at all his jokes, too. I happen to find Happy Corbin extremely entertaining. And from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds, Happy Corbin! This story just pulls my heartstrings. It is great when good things happen to good people. Good people? You think Happy Corbin's a good person? The amount of people he treats like absolute garbage? Hey, Corey, did you get the invite? I sure did. We are hitting you. the town. Go on with Corbin. Graves, hey, I, Happy Corbin. I never got an invite, guys. There's a reason for that. Actually, it probably doesn't. Ladies and gentlemen, the social media icon has arrived. And from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 185 pounds, Logan Paul. We knew he was a social media phenomenon, but I don't think any of us ever imagined the aptitude Logan Paul has for sports entertainment. We've seen Logan Paul take on the top names in boxing. We've seen Logan Paul take on the top names in WWE. Logan Paul is clearly fearless. I, I have a question for you guys. How many folks can say they made their WWE debut across the ring from Rey Mysterio at WrestleMania? You're right, Corey. Uh, Logan Paul accomplished something that few ever have. And Rey Mysterio was the one who felt the honor. Oh. And it's time for some classic tag team action here with Steve Austin, The Rock, and John Cena. Then the opposing team is, of course, filled with Austin Theory, Happy Corbin, and Logan Paul. Hard to decide what team has the advantage here. It'll probably come down to who can cut the ring in half the best, who can control the pace. Taken and yet he's still in this match. Gets him with the counter. <laughs> These superstars face unique set of challenges in this six man tag match. Yeah, Cole, we've seen teams of three struggle before. It's hard enough to communicate with one partner, but two, you're in for a lot of work here. Telegraph that one and delivers a blow to the gut. Great awareness from Austin. a step ahead of Austin. Get him in the corner. Stone Cold, not even a little close to backing down here. Shot right to the kidney. And again. Great win. Right down your 
opponent. Ooh. Here are the highlights. Here are your winners. Steve Austin, The Rock, and John Cena. Big win for these three here tonight. Love them or hate them, you know they did everything they could to earn this win. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Nikita Lyons and Zoe Stark, the Bad Girls. Oftentimes with teams, you know one member is better than the other. These are two superstars who are equally high level. Their opponents 
Nikki and Brie, the Bella Twins. Brie and Nikki, a dominant team long before the women's tag titles ever existed. But now they plan to make the entire women's tag team division suffer. to show why they are the greatest women's tag team in history. The WWE Tag Team Division is more competitive than ever. As these two teams get into it, I can almost guarantee this match will be one to remember. The standards for tag team action just keep getting higher and higher around here. Take it down to the canvas. Oh, solid kick across the back. Just insulting. Oh no, she could be caught here. Bad situation for her. On the least much. Eight and Forbes. Oh, look at this. Trying to slip out. She did it. Oh, look at this. for every move attempted. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Oh, close line. And off the tag. <laughs> Nikki Bella counters. Who's going to give in first? 
little time in this matchup. This is a time to dig deep. Big back body drop. What elevation. A relentless attack being brought to Nikita. Lions is going to have to dig down deep here. Down in the basement with a drop kick. decision. I like it a lot, Cole. She clearly wants to inflict even... That match. 
match is worth another look. Here we go. Here are your winners, Nikki and Bree, the Bella Twins. Bree Bella helping catapult the team to victory. Maybe a little hyperbolic, but these two performed like they're born to be a tag team. If they stay together, watch out. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 228 pounds, CM Punk. The feeling, the electricity in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt in quite some time. This match is going to be good. A competitor who always has his game face on, ready for a major battle. Mellow is money. From Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Carmelo Hayes. I hate to pair in a catchphrase, but Mello really is money. Multiple title reigns and main events to his name already. And this guy is destined to continue that success in That's all right. of WWE. Mello ready to do something special. There's the bell. The title might not be up for grabs, but to the challenger, so much is on the line here. If he wins, he can just as quickly be next in line for a title opportunity. Let's not undersell the talent and threat of a superstar like Carmelo Hayes. A man who knows just how good he is and isn't afraid to let everyone know. You can't take his shine, and he's going to show just why in this one. Shine showboating, a talented competitor for sure, but he also wants everyone to know just how much more talented he is than them. Hopefully, he just focuses on the match. What? Go away. 
Oh, not what Hayes intended. Fires back with a crucial elbow. Cancels the close line. Oh, what a Spanish fly. Great counter. Punches to the ear. What are they going to hear after this match? Sent into the corner. Carmelo Hayes. What is he about to set up here? Springboard leg drop. Hayes showing off and showing. Hayes in full control. Oh my goodness, what a cutter. Carmelo could have this one for the win. There's two. How does anyone have this much in them at this point? And it's going to take composure now. Could just need one more big move. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Ow! Picking up speed, building momentum. Oh, had to get it going, but gets stonewalled. Look at this, just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. And nobody's there. Able to sidestep it. This superstar building incredible momentum. Oh, I mean, this is, I don't know how the superstar is doing it. Down to that moment to go. Back in it now. He got whipped into that corner. Curling your own body like that is insane. Oh, colliding with a barricade. Oh, vicious Russian leg sweep right into the barricade. Driven into the barricade. You have daring, and you have stupid. That was stupid. It was a daring decision that didn't provide the expected result. Yeah, stupid. Oh, right in there. Matt slam with some attitude. After what we've seen so far, you cannot question the ranks these superstars. Uh-oh, from the top, stack there. That was nasty. He can end it here. You got him. Kick it out in time. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. Climbing the turnbuckle now. Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming at him. Hayes hits nothing but net. Can Hayes put things away here? Left by the turnbuckles. Leg drop from the ropes. And that could be a step towards overcoming Carmella late in this match. This is where Hayes needs to leave it all in the ring with the match soaring. Crossbody for the top. Got all of it. And Hayes absorbing a lot of offense down the stretch. That has to serve as a wake up call for him. From the top rope. And Hayes turning it around. Close line. Feed off the WWE Universe. This place is starting to rock. He's lining him up. He wants it one more time. Carmelo Hayes, nothing but that. Carmelo could have this one. Escaping that pin must have cost him. I 
10. These are the moments where you really find out how tough you are. That was the best weapon in the arsenal, but it wasn't enough to produce an end result. Effectively using the knee. Oh, he's got him in deep, deep trouble here. Look out. some of the action from the previous match. Here is your winner, CM Punk. This is the type of victory where you really have to weigh the costs against the benefits. The reward definitely seems greater than the risk right about now, but we'll see how they feel once they get back to the locker room and hit the showers. The EST is here. This is going to be good. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Knoxville, Tennessee, the WWE Women's World Champion, Bianca Belair. Before dominating here in WWE, she was a decorated collegiate athlete. Yeah, but let's talk about some of that dominance here in WWE, Michael. Bianca Belair, a former Royal Rumble winner, a multi-time women's champion as well. It's starting to look like there truly aren't any limits that Bianca Belair can't reach. She is a woman reborn in fire. The longest reigning NXT UK Women's Champion looking to continue her dominance in WWE. And from Glasgow, Scotland, Alba Fire! Easily the most dominant woman in NXT UK history. She held the women's title for 649 days. And in NXT, she won the Dusty Rhodes Classic alongside EO Sky. Well, no matter what brand she's on, her name is always in the title picture.
A woman descended from generations of warriors. Fighting is in her blood. And there is fire in her eyes that cannot be extinguished. Bianca Belair here considers herself the EST of WWE, the strongest, fastest, toughest, and all around best superstar the company has to offer. And one of the most athletic superstars to ever come out of the Performance Center. You could say her EST moniker is cocky, but there is also a strong element of truth to it. Absolutely. Belair certainly not lacking for confidence, especially as she can often back up her claims in the ring. And with someone like Alba Fire, you never quite know what you're going to get. Other than an absolute battle, that is. Yeah, Fire absolutely goes into every match like she's going into war. And she brings that killer instinct to hers along for the ride. Getting set up for something in the corner. Control here. Face for a turnbuckle. Oh, shoulder in the gut. This is just establishing dominance. Oh, Ooh, a stop right to the chest. Are you kidding me? And Alba, perhaps not the only one with a killer instinct in this one. Good maneuver there by the EST. What's the best strategy in a match against a superstar like Bianca Belair, who possesses incredible athletic ability and rough strength? Chances are you. Not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Oh, and a reversal. Great awareness as she proves to be too quick. Put in a position now. Say goodnight, K.O.D. She got the shoulders down. Makes a cover. Oh my, that was close. Unreal, unreal to kick out there. Not only unlikely, downright extraordinary. And Belair 100% thought she had it there, guys. I think we all did. she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. Going up high with the punch. Shining star press. Cover. She pops the shoulder up in one. You expect these pins to last much longer at this stage in the match. Yeah. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. Got their opponent up. Snake eyes! And Alba only finds herself on the defensive. Bianca's keeping the, the top. Oh, she misses the ball. Oh, what a kick. Got the head scissors on. Oh, elbow to the face. That offense taking a toll on her. Oh, man, drop kick. risk when you dive ringside. Whoa. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. She's going up. Come on the top. Are you kidding me? Attempting high risk move after high risk move at a breakneck pace. Bianca top rope. 50 splash. That layer just playing power. Two. Almost had her, but she gets the shoulder up. Out of this. 
this world athleticism of Bianca Belair is on display. A pow of reversal catches Bianca. close to ending it all there. We're going to apply an agonizing arm bar stretch. We're stretching out the arm. Oh, look at this. Trap now and just a oh, elbow in the face. Point of the elbow finds the mark. Now yeah. uh, fireman's carry. Down in a sit-out spine buster. Nicely done. Picking her spots carefully against Belair and trying to outsmart the EST. Belair taking on even more damage from that attack. I don't know if it goes to her offense, but that one just hit like a bag of bricks. She heads out, but this one can be lost by countout. The WWE Universe is showing their appreciation for the action they're seeing. It has been an absolute war out there. These superstars' efforts are not lost on this crowd. Bianca's being taken full advantage of now. Belair is not gauging the situation accurately. Looking for a high-risk move. Oh, well, it's gonna happen. Oh, the fire with a small time. And Bianca felt the full force of that. It had to have been instincts. That's the only explanation as to how Belair kicked out there. Big maneuver executed perfectly, but still was. And the top. Oh, the fire with a slow time. Game, set, match for out of fire. Kick out. Thought that was the end of her. Unbelievable. Looks like the EST still has something left in the tank. Was not able to seal the deal with her best move. Now she's asking, what more can I do? That's fire proving just how dangerous her killer instinct really is. Oh, it's gonna happen. And she doesn't connect. Oh, this is the most incredible comeback. And all that momentum comes to a screeching stop. Tossed into the corner. Belair able to counter. Yeah. And they go. And again. Had it going, but just made one misstep. Really gaining the momentum now. You're not going to find Alba showing any remorse. Uh oh, she could be setting up for a submission here. A stunning display of power. Man, she's got a lot of heart and a lot of guts, but I don't know if she can hang on here. Heart and guts don't matter with a broken body. Serious peril. No, she counters. And Belair is being broken down. Yeah. Big knockdown. Can't find a way to rally there. And we go. And again. She had a solid plan, but just couldn't execute. Something else. Boom, right to the midsection. What are they going to do here? We're about to find out. Corey can be good. Backbreaker. And it's not over yet. A second. It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Look at this crowd! It's insanity in here! Bedlam! She starts to rise back up, but the 
she knew where she is? Big plans in mind for the EST. Incredibly impressed by this superstar. Who, uh, oh, oh, hang on, gentlemen. This superstar has entered the chat. A great deal of history between these two, and tensions are rising. The following contest is a steel cage match and is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. He is the alpha male of our species. And Lesnar looking to dominate. When you look at Brock Lesnar, you, you honestly got to feel that Lesnar is more beast than man. Now, Lesnar is undoubtedly the next step in human evolution. He has unbelievable physical gifts, does the beast. He must be prepared for battle against one of the toughest competitors in all of sports entertainment. And if he is, it'll be one of the most memorable moments in his entire career. His return. A man who changed the entire wrestling world and is now ready to prove himself again in the WWE. From undesirable to undeniable, the prodigal son is back in WWE. And he is set to make up for lost time in a major way. A man who began his WWE career with a legacy to uphold, but soon became a star who left them all in the dust. Yeah, I think we can all agree his time away has turned him into one of the toughest competitors in all of sports entertainment. Hit you.
introducing the challenger from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar! And his opponent, from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the The champion thrives in these situations. Pride and heart will be tested. This is arguably the biggest challenge the champ has faced yet. You can feel it. Absolutely. We can easily see the title change hands here tonight. Or we can see a champion do whatever it takes to prevent such a thing from happening, gentlemen. Into the corner. This can't be good. He's turning the tables. are sharp in this series of reversals. He finds a counter for Rhodes. Cody Rhodes felt that coming. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Ooh, Brock thrust. Ooh. Oh, Brock put a stop to that. Suplex. And now he's looking to advance up the cage wall. From the top! Drop. The head's adding up a little on the champ. Looking for the victory! There's two! Oh, the champ narrowly kicks out. What do you have to do to put this guy away? It might go without saying, but you really need to use the steel cage to your advantage in a match like this. It's just that simple. It is as simple as this. If you don't use the cage as a weapon, whoever is in there with you surely will. Crashing yeah. down with the senton. Oh, man. Ooh, a sharp kick. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Face first. Oh, kicks right to the midsection. Opponent dropped in the corner. Blood hole stomping. Go on, elbows by right on the bridge of the nose. Elbow drop. Brock must be phased after this string of action. There's a credible impact with every maneuver Cody delivers. You got to be questioning how much further they're willing to take this, guys. Not that cool. I don't think there's any question they're ready to take this all the way. In search of some footing to make this huge play. Ripped off the top turnbuckle. Only one way to go. Oh, Unceremoniously set right back down to the canvas. Oh, that could not have felt good. to three. He switches it back around. Third breaker. Lining Brock up. Is the beast going to be slayed? Cody looking for the way. Look at Brock's face after that. It's becoming an absolute mess. Cody looking for the way.
These guys feel no love for each other. Here's another look. Here is your winner, and still undisputed WWE.